I've played so much Pal World, Ellen, yeah. and it's destroyed my brain and personality. And what was that for if I don't get to make a video about it? Fine, we'll talk about Pal World. Fine, we'll address Pal World. So we'll do a little bit of table setting and then mm -hmm. I want to get into things that I think that Pokemon should steal from Pal World. Oh, yeah. We also should probably say out top, the the Pal World situation is a fluid and evolving one. Yeah. At the like, time of recording, there have been like some pretty serious allegations. Lots of, of allegations. There's of, like, someone theft. doing not not just of like Pokemon designs, designs but of, like, and vibe, but it, it, it's but the, of actually like the three D models. Like someone lined them up and went, if they were just kind of like copying the yeah, vibe of Pokemon, yeah, yeah. they shouldn't line up this much. And it's like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> so that's in progress. Uh, just before we went. On air, uh, Pokemon put out changed. a statement being like, we are investigating. This game, if you're not familiar, it's obviously being compared a lot to Pokemon because of the creatures in it, but mm. mechanically, it's quite different from Pokemon. It's a base builder, yeah. like Minecraft, but it treats the creatures, which are called pals, as just another resource. So you go out and you capture them, and yes, you can make them fight alongside you and help you capture other pals, just like in Pokemon, but far more importantly, you then take that pal back to your base and they become a resource in production. Production of all the things you need in a survival game. They make upgrades faster. Eventually you can automate wood production and automate stone production. And you do all that by like dumping pals in your base and the things that they are naturally good at based on their type, they'll just go and do and work and, and work and work and work. The other way they're a resource is that you if you if you kill them then like you get stuff pops out you know you get like a <laughs> you get like a steak so for instance i need to i needed to build a hot spring um, oh lovely that sounds nice and it does sound nice and, and it is nice it's relaxing. for the it's for the pals to relax in because Aww. if they don't relax their sanity drops from working to the point where they uh, become unable to work anymore because you've basically shattered their mind with with an, an intense, unyielding workload. This on top of like starvation. It's like YouTube. <laughs> it is like it's YouTube. Like everyone on YouTube. Yeah. Right now. To build a hot tub, I needed like some special glands that you find in water type pals. So I went out like farming pengullets, which are sort of like little penguin Pokemon, just farming them with what with my with my big like bird Pokemon, which is like the fastest, most vicious killer. Um, on my team, uh, you know, and just harvesting up all of those glands, <laughs> those those all water organs or whatever they were called. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, hot tub. Now, sanity, hooray, refilled, back to work. <laughs> I'm telling you this because I'm trying to communicate the vibe of Pal World, because I think that's important to what I want to say. Mm -hmm. Another couple of, of examples. You can get a butcher knife that lets you butcher your pals, like permanently, like they're gone. So remember we were joking with Pokemon Go, like, oh, send it to Professor Oak, get some candy. Into a so, candy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, grr, 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 grr. Well, this is like, it pixelates it out because it, the game, I guess, figures it's too horrifying to see, but it's just like, butcher the pal. One more. Um, I was ex out exploring and I found a cave and inside the cave, there was a man with a really frightening face. And <laughs> he, he was a like black market pal dealer like a sort of un under the table trade in, in illegal and pals. Yeah, like that, like illegal <laughs> pals. So I sold him a bunch of my pals to buy this like rare illegal cat that he had. And he was in a room that was just full of guillotines. <laughs> because this is a base builder, the end game state, what you're like ostensibly striving for mm -hmm. is like you're sort of conquering territory. Yeah. You're making your base bigger and bigger and more powerful and faster production. It's that sort of cookie clicker thing where you're just trying to make everything kind of go up and up and up and mm -hmm, up mm -hmm. in that way like it does feel sort of like spreadsheety like all base builders yeah, do yeah. eventually the sort of end game which is you'll have to really really put in a lot of hours to get this you'll have a whole teams of pals working on uh, weapon production lines kind of manufacturing assault rifles the game does not appear to be very self-aware about how effed up what you're doing is <laughs> that's something that i think is like being overlooked when people talk about power world Think of a game like Cult of the Lamb. You remember that one? Yeah. It's very, very cutesy. But it's but also you, very tongue in cheek. Yes, you're, you're a cult leader and you're sort of sacrificing cute animals to your cult and you're kind of building up your cult with these cutesy animals. And it's, it's very dark, but it's 
very, yeah, as you say, tongue in cheek. It's knowing. It's a sort of sly wink it's to the kind camera. It's kind of like tee hee hee hee. Yeah, exactly. I don't really get that from like Pal World has a slightly more sort of dead behind the eyes kind of delivery. So we've got an effed up game <laughs> that is like doesn't appear to be presenting the effed up world that it gives you yeah. in any sort with any sort of like artistry or irony. Yeah. Or not much that I can detect. So you know, why don't we just not play Pal World? Yeah. But here's the problem. It's actually, it's actually a pretty good game. Yeah. <laughs> it's the exact opposite of the Pokemon experience, or at mm. least Pokemon as it has been for like the last few generations, the last few major game installments. So in Pokemon, the vibes are immaculate. I love the world of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I love Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I love, we were talking about this when we were talking about Pokemon, Pokemon Concierge. Concierge. The, the Pokemon like world is, is just so great. And the games- It's rich with it's rich. it's rich. And the games don't really deliver, especially like they feel mechanically weak and weak in a bunch mm -hmm. of like other ways or, or like, you know, just sort of a bit copy pasted from the last yeah, game. Yeah, like the best Pokemon games are the ones that are like the spin-offs, really yeah. like Pokemon Dungeon and yeah, Ar uh, Arceus. Detective yeah. Pikachu. Yeah. yeah, Arceus, yeah. Arceus like, is an interesting one because it's, uh, or Arceus if you prefer, because it's the closest to Power World. Yeah. Uh, but it makes Arceus slash Arceus look like tiny baby steps. So it's like the, it, if Pokemon is like a sort of dodgy game, great vibes, mm. Power World is the exact opposite. It's yeah. like good game, horrible vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to be playing Power World. Mm. I want to be playing a Power World made by yeah. Game Freak. But Game yeah. Freak hasn't made a game like Power World, i.e. a game that has, you know, really gets its hooks in, sort of makes you want to yeah. like keep playing. So to that end, here are the things I think yeah. should be Pokemon should take from Power World. Hell yeah. Number one, actual cool fights. Mm -hmm. So like minute to minute, playing Power World feels really great. The way you deploy pals and can like pull them back in real time is brilliant. Obviously Pokemon is like turn historically turn-based. But not always, you know, like some of the spin-offs and, mm. and like have, have deviated from that. And So I, they can do it. They can do it. And Power World makes a really compelling case because it's not like the smoothest or most sophisticated combat or anything like that. But just like being in the in the middle of a of a battle, like trying to capture a, a, a strong pal feels really good. It's really exciting. You're involved in the battle. Obviously, you're like shooting them with arrows or like blasting them with like shotguns or, or something yeah. like that. I'm not saying we have to take shotguns no. or indeed like hurting the Pokemon, but the fact that you are in some way involved, I, I'm sure that there is a way to basically make the player more involved in like a real time Pokemon like catching battle. That part of Pal World looks and crucially feels really good and exciting. And mm -hmm. I would love to see it in Pokemon. Number two, Pals in the world in Pokemon Pokemon feel quite static. When you do a fight, you go into like mm -hmm. the little sort of siloed off fight thing. And as, as long as Pokemon has been around, that's sort of looked and felt the same. The Pokemon don't like touch each other. They just sort yeah. of like keyframe around a little bit, like, you know. Woo, woo, woo. And you can like interact with Pokemon, but only in siloed off parts of the game. Like we were mm. like, now we go to the bit of the game where you can like pet and interact with them. Yeah. And then you look at Power World where you have all of the creatures sort of running around, interacting with each other, like all like completely freely. They've got all these really adorable animations mm. when they're toiling away. Yeah. <laughs> they interact with each other. They can like pick each other up and, mm -hmm. and, and all this stuff. And it sometimes looks like, a, the animation sometimes looks a little bit janky, but yeah. the, 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 the cumulative effect of it is that you, you feel like you are really in a world like full of full of these creatures mm. and you know not the sort of pokemon thing where you're kind of moving around an overworld and you can see like a sort of thing pop in yeah you. like sprite it, approximation of one like scarlet and violet like when you're running around like there's groups of pokemon around you but they're all like not going to talk look at each other they're just they'll they'll attack you but they'll just ignore each yeah, other yeah yeah it's like whereas in power world you've got like your partner pal will sort of start fighting on your behalf and other pals of that same species if, if they see that happening, they'll like join the fight. Yeah. If you accidentally, or if your pal accidentally like aggroes something else or like a big sort of world boss, like that can drag them into the yeah. fight and then you're like running for your life and stuff. So 
there's 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 an excitement and a sort of dynamism to the way that the pals move around the world. It just proves that it can be done. So I would love to see Pokemon with its limitless resources do that. Number three, gameplay hooks. So Pal World is a base builder, which is a different mm -hmm. genre really to the Pokemon games. But what it does well and what it has in common with every good video game is that it really gets its hooks in early in terms of promising you things like kind of like carrots that it dangles like minute to minute there's always something that you can be doing and something that you probably want to do because it's tied to you unlocking something that is going to like significantly impact gameplay like like saddles for my pokemon i'm like mm -hmm. oh man i'm going to be able to do all this cool stuff once i can like ride on this particular Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And right from the word go, the game is sort of pulling you along like that, like constantly dangling, like, hey, play for another 30 seconds and you'll and you'll be doing this. And you're like, ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. It makes it very hard to stop playing Power World. It makes it very, like, I find myself thinking about Power World when I'm not playing it. <laughs> now I can, like, optimize my base. This isn't like, and I don't really like base builders, but what this reminds me of the most weirdly is, is Breath of the Wild. Um, mm -hmm. That thing where, like, it just feels like there's always something to do like yeah. uh, and while you're doing one thing something else will look like occur yeah like i'm, I'm talking real raw mechanics and like reward mm -hmm. here like it's it's a pretty well structured game and mm -hmm. i think if you compare that to the pokemon games which don't really change significantly all the way through no like, you're basically doing the same type of fight over and over and over again yeah the numbers are higher but the numbers are higher but you're basically yeah. doing the same thing and you're just going okay what type is it okay well i'll put this one out then cool yeah it doesn't so uh, i think to try and like be concrete as if pokemon's going to do any of this or listen <laughs> to me but to, like to be concrete i think what i would love to see in pokemon is like more progression for your character with like meaningful gameplay differences you know mm -hmm. like in breath of the wild when you get like a new stamina bar yeah and it's like Oh, I'm on top of the I world. I can do all this yeah, now. Yeah, I'm completely unbeatable now. Uh, it's like that. So I, I would love to see Pokemon, maybe maybe in regards to like traversal, or there's a there's a, a neat mechanic in Pal World where you can like grab a pal and do a partner action with it. Now don't get me wrong, this is usually like turning it into a flamethrower to kill a load of Pokemon in a fiery hell. I'm not saying we do that. I'd rather Pokemon was peppered with compelling short-term goals that improve gameplay. Number four, multiplayer. Pal World is a game like Minecraft where you, you make a server and like lots of people can hop on it. What it means is that you have a lot of like fun, sometimes volatile like interactions <laughs> with other players. You don't have to. I've been, you can have your own server, yeah, can't you? Yeah. You can, yeah. I've been playing like in like single player mode almost exclusively, but it's it's kind of nice to know that the that multiplayer mode He's just there yeah, on it. yeah, is there and Pokemon Basically, any game on Nintendo platforms tend to have had like a slightly rocky relationship with online multiplayer. It's mm -hmm. never really been their forte. Yet again, it's just Power World is another good example of like, look what look what I could be doing in an official Pokemon game. Yeah. And the reason I'm not doing it in an official Pokemon game is because the people who make Pokemon haven't put it in. Yeah. Even, <laughs> even though it would be fun because but I'm having fun. fun. I, I think base builders personally are best with friends like playing them yeah. with someone and being yeah. like look what we made together that's fun you mm. know if we could walk around you with a po with with a pikachu me with an eevee and just oh, like yeah. making like a nice little like extra base and be like oh, hey be everyone jump on our server and you can oh like... you burned it down oh. <laughs> you should fine. never have put the code out there that's mm -hmm. fair <laughs> Five, boss battles. Um, boss battles in Pokemon, I guess the closest thing you get is like a gym leader. They haven't really changed much over the years. Oh, it's the grass one. Okay, guess guess I just have to go in with a bunch of fire. Oh, There boss. you go. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You basically just have to power up one Pokemon. Yes. Or and you two can, Pokemon yeah. for a backup. And you can kind of steam. And then you're like, Pfft. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I've not really had, I'm not trying to like make myself sound like an amazing Pokemon player or anything, but like I've and not- I'm, I'm the most basic Pokemon player ever. And I'm like- Yeah, gym, gym fights are not difficult, no. but the boss battles in Power World are, well, they're massive. They're very dramatic. It's mm. sort of like a gigantic pal with a human like rider, just mm. like attacking you in real time. Wow. What I like about them more than like, you know, just the, the aesthetic, is that a boss battle is basically quite a true measure of your current, like, damage output. So, like, the the, 
The boss has a health bar. Mm -hmm. You can you you will basically burn through all your pals, and it's like. With your combined attack power and all of your pals attack power at the level that you all are, can you deal this much damage in 10 minutes? And there's a skill element too, because you have to sort of run, like dodge attacks mm -hmm. and like you can hide behind pillars and stuff. But fundamentally, it's just a sort of... A litmus test yeah, 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 exactly. It's like a difficulty check. It's yeah. like, are you actually ready for this? Is this yeah, it's your vibe. <laughs> yeah. What it means is that like, when you fail a boss battle, and I have failed them, like, I've really wanted to come back to them and, and, and try them again and really come out swinging mm -hmm. and be like, right, I'm going to show them. And I'll you know train up, I'll sort of level up for a bit and I'm like, I think I'm ready, I think I'm ready. And I'll go and get like humiliated again, but sort of slightly less. Slightly less, yeah. like, um, okay, I know where I am now. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, you know, that makes it sound like it's like Bloodborne or something. It's not like that, but, no. but I think like fundamentally a boss fight being like a sort of, hey, this is how you measure how like how far you are in the game and how good you are. Mm. Do you maybe need to go away and do a bit more practice and capture like some more specific do pals? Need, yeah, and... do you need to do a bit of grinding? Or... Do you need to do a bit of grinding? Yeah, it, you know, like Pokemon like is an RPG. grinding <laughs> pals <laughs> through some horrible machine. I'm so sorry, pals. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just wanted to make a YouTube video. I didn't want to kill or butcher anyone. Um, Someone clip that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finally, this one's kind of boring, but I feel like it should be said, is is graphics. Like, mm -hmm. I understand that the Pokemon games tend to be on Nintendo systems, and so they are normally working with like the limitations of the hardware, but I don't know that that's a so much of an was, excuse. So was Tears of the, Tears Kingdom. Of the Kingdom. So was, so what was, was that amazing one where you're like a cop and you have the tethers? What was that one? Oh God, Astral Chain. Astral Chain. Oh. That was off the chain. That looked beautiful, that game. Pokemon, you can do that. Come on, Game Freak. Yeah, exactly. From from developers <sighs> with and publishers with like a fraction of the resources. Yeah. So like increasingly, I don't really feel like that holds water. And I think even diehard Pokemon fans would agree that like Scarlet and Violet visually were a real letdown. It was <laughs> the, the pop it. I was like, I heard all the chat and I was like, can't be that bad. And I, I played it and I was like, oh. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is yeah. Ooh. It's a bad time. I, mm. Yeah, I was optimistic before it came out that it yeah. like, that it wouldn't matter because graphics fundamentally don't matter if the no, gameplay is there. as long as there. the gameplay is there, but then. But the gameplay wasn't there wasn't enough. That much, yeah. So yeah, and Power World is not a beautiful game. It's like the same hills and rocks and trees and like like over and over again. It's mm -hmm. not like it's not blowing my mind. But there have been moments where I'm like, ooh. This is a beautiful little lake I've just found yeah. and the sun is sort of reflecting off it. And yeah. like that kind of stuff, it does, it makes a big difference in in how much you want to like see more. Again, not spellbinding, but like the popularity of Power World should really be lighting a fire under like Nintendo and, and Game Freak. This is a, a wake up call. Yeah. Or, or it should be, That that's kind of the phrase. It's like Power World shouldn't, Power World exists because it feels like there's a gap in the market that like Pokemon has, like Pokemon has created a vacuum by mm. like not keeping up with the way that video games are and what they can do. <laughs> I'm gonna read from my, I'm gonna read from my yeah. notes here verbatim. I don't want to play Pal World. I want to play a Pal World game <laughs> made by Game Freak with all the Pokemon I like and where the end state isn't a 1984 style perpetual war where conflict rages to sustain itself. It was quite a train ride down to the studio today. <laughs> Basically, I think where I'm at with, with Pal World is, you know, it's a solid game with bad vibes. Mm. The opposite to Pokemon. I would love Pokemon sort of like yeah. flip that a little bit. The second someone makes like a good vibes Pal World, yeah. for me, like, that's it. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Pokemon, but like, I will, I will play that. I will play that and I would probably, I would definitely rather play that than like a Pokemon game. And Pal World has been so popular with so many millions of downloads that you have to think that people are like preparing to rush in and make their own sort of base builder slash Pokemon mm. sort of genre. I th like this has the potential to become its own genre. Like, you know, the yeah. sort of like collector base builder or yeah. something like that. And and if someone can make one of those that doesn't make me feel like a, a bastard. <laughs> I'm speaking now directly to, to the Pokemon company who 100% aren't watching this. I think you should consider yourselves now to be in a race, essentially. Pal World is sort of, is the starting gun. And now there is a race between you and a bunch of other developers to make a good vibes 
Pal World. Mm -hmm. and, and I hope that it's you, Pokemon, because yeah. I'd sure love it if there was a Pikachu in it. Because you, you can do good jokes as well, because like, yeah. there's lots of things in yeah. Pokemon that are still funny and stuff. Because yeah. I think a lot of what Pal World, like the initial thing is just like, lol, it's Pokemon, but guns. Yeah. And like, the, but the thing is like, once you strip that back, it is still like at its core, a good game. Yeah, it's a, a, um, a, t a totally functional, mechanically sound, pretty like glitchy, early access-y, but so, like- yeah, you just gotta find know, like the funny Pokemon hook yeah. for that, for like the vibes of it, and then you, you're golden. Yeah, and like, you, I re oh. you really could be golden. Yeah. So, as in like showered with golden money. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And now we've done our Power World video. Yes. I can uninstall Power World. <laughs> or, or will I? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll or join maybe in I'll... and we'll build a base yeah, together. Yeah. We can do we can do that. I could get my Pengullet rocket launcher a lot far. You put the Pengullet in and you shoot it out and it explodes. Yeah. So For massive you... damage. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to know what the folks watching think of yeah. Pal World, if yeah, you've right. played it at all. Yeah. I have a feeling like everyone's like, oh my god, and then as soon as like everyone gets over the Pokemon with guns joke, like, you know, is it the good thing? Is it an interesting game? Dunno. But Pokemon, you, you, if you did it, it wouldn't be just the joke. It would be a good game with Pokemon helping you build things. I want an Eevee to help me build a little shed. <laughs> yeah, there are lessons to be taken. From, from this, and I hope that's what happens. Mm -hmm. Ugh, hot takes. Ugh. <laughs> Feel a little itchy doing a hot take. Rubbish. Yeah. Well, it's done now. Done. It's out of the way. Yeah, share your hot takes in the comments. Ugh. <laughs>